Why and how could a sleeping pill cause problems or why does it potentially create dependence? Well, if you look at this animation, one of the things you have to understand is your brain has excitatory systems and inhibitory systems. GABA happens to be a receptor in your brain that when it's activated, inhibits your brain. It calms things down. That's what you're seeing there. The brain is getting very calm. That's why when you take a medicine like benzodiazepine, which makes those GABA receptors want to cling on or, or be more active, they're more active, but your brain is then less active. But when you lose that, when the medicine is taken away, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, the GABA receptors are, are not as active and your brain starts firing up again. So think of it this way. When you take these medications, it inhibits your brain, calms you down, like you've had a few drinks of alcohol even. That's mm -hmm. a very similar feeling to, to what some people say when they take benzodiazepines. But then when it leaves your system, you get withdrawal symptoms maybe, or you start to feel dependent because you felt relaxed, yeah. but now it's out of my system, and all of a sudden, those you're wired again. Yeah, and those you may receptors need even more. are used to being stimulated, yeah. suddenly they're not, and the and brain kind of goes haywire. And that's why very often, when you take a sleeping pill at night, you, you just don't feel that great the next morning. Yeah. Well, a pill will never get you to where you need to be when it comes to a good night's sleep. If you're having terrible sleep, you really need to look at the factors for why. Mm -hmm. uh, behavioral modification, counseling, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, because if you become dependent upon these pills, rebound insomnia can happen. You know, the minute you stop taking them, then you then sleep is harder than it ever was before you ever even began yeah. the medications. You really shouldn't use sleep meds more than a few times a week and more than a few weeks at a time. Certainly discuss this with your, with your doctor because there is a place for them. Mm -hmm. I think we all agree, right? Oh, there yeah. is a place yeah. for them, yeah. but the Changing place is not use. every night for the rest of your yeah. life well, for you know, most if people. If I find myself laying in bed, just kind of my mind is just going, going, going. I can't fall asleep. I'll just get up. You know, read a book or something, and because I'm usually pretty tired, a couple of pages that the kind of clears the mind. And, but but you, what you um, don't want to do is go back to the cell phone or the computer right, yeah, right before going to sleep. And other things, what can you do to help get a better night's sleep? I mean, obviously, alcohol doesn't help. You nope. don't want to eat immediately uh, before going to sleep. You don't want to go to bed stressed out over something. If it takes relaxing, meditating a little bit, like you said, then... You Exercise during the day, Exercise. Yes. Your sleep at night. So important. Technology out of the room. And that 20-20 rule, if you're in bed laying there for 20 minutes, start ruminating on something, go ahead and get out of bed to a low light area, relaxing area, spend 20 minutes doing something else other mm -hmm. than just thinking about going back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Or eating that chocolate cake. <laughs>